Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm Eric Front. And I'm Michelle Lee. Tonight we ask just how harmful is smoking pot for young adults? A professor at UW-Milwaukee did the research over a 15-year span. And news reporter Dave Delosier is here with what they found, Dave. Yeah, Eric and Michelle, you know, uh, with recreational use of marijuana now legal in Colorado and Washington State, policy is moving much faster right now than the research. And throughout the debate, marijuana has been called everything from a gateway drug by some to less than harmful, less harmful than alcohol by others. The research being done at UW-Milwaukee is starting to provide some answers. There's still a lot that we need to know. To separate fact from fiction, Crystal Listall is using technology. So there's been a huge innovation in magnetic resonance imaging. She is studying the brain scans of 200 teens and young adults who regularly smoke marijuana. What we see is that um, increased marijuana use, especially daily use, is associated with cognitive problems like slowed processing speed, um, poor complex attention, so they can memorize a phone number and things like that, but sustaining their attention over time is more difficult. And also memory problems. Changes to the development of the brain that are especially concerning when measured with this. So we've seen a jump, especially in teenager use, and actually about six and a half percent of high school seniors are using marijuana daily. That was one of my biggest concerns. As I said, I am a mother. And yet, that is why State Representative Melissa Sargent is working on legislation to legalize recreational use of marijuana in Wisconsin. Came to the conclusion that the most dangerous thing about marijuana in Wisconsin is that it's illegal. She sees the controls that it would put on where it is sold, how it is sold, and to whom it is sold, actually reducing the use by those under 21 years of age. This will do a lot, I think, um, based on what I've seen in Colorado, to decrease usage among our young people. I think that policy is moving faster than the research. More research is what Krista Listall says is needed. And while her findings are certainly cause for concern, her position on marijuana might surprise you. I support decriminalization and uh, increasing methods such as drug courts. Because just like Representative Sargent, she believes the current policy is not working. Is prohibition working? Well, when it comes to marijuana, I'd have to say no, it's, it's not working very well. Krista Listall believes that decriminalizing uh, or legalizing marijuana could actually make it safer by limiting the amount of THC in it. It is THC that is associated with much of the damage that is done to the development of the brain. And Eric and Michelle, THC levels in illegally sold marijuana has been increasing dramatically in the last few years, and it, and it is a real big problem. Dave Delosier reporting tonight. Dave, thank you. you.